For people who don't know, the Pan American Games is like the mini Olympics, but for North, Central, and South America. Mark and I had to play in a qualifying tournament in Manhattan Beach through USA Beach Volleyball. It was a super windy day, threw up a lot of sky balls, a lot of sidewinders, and we ended up taking it. I've been to the Pan American Games before. It was, I thought, a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm very grateful to be going back. The last time I went to the games, I didn't have a lot of time to prepare with my partner. Thankfully, Mark and I have been playing for a year and a half now, so we have some pretty good chemistry on the court. I'm looking forward to take some of the things that we've been practicing and show it on the big stage. Man, I love playing with Ian. We communicate really well. We're not afraid to correct each other, but we do it in the right way. I think our communication and, and our ability to set each other in almost any situation is what gives us an advantage over other teams. Preparation for these games is a lot different than how I've prepared it in the past. I noticed that at this point in my career, I'm using a lot more recovery. So I'm okay with practicing only three or four times a week. Whereas when I was younger and I was training for a main event, I would go hard, hard, hard. It ended up giving me a lot of injuries over time. I don't need to drive in the thousands of reps anymore and sacrifice my body's energy. Yeah. Option. I've only heard great things about Peru, so I'm really looking forward to visiting South America for the first time and excited to meet a bunch of new athletes from not only the U.S., but from other countries as well. Anytime that you can strap USA on your chest and be able to compete for your country, I, th I think there's so much pride that comes with that. It's the only event that's bigger than it is the Olympics. So the stage that we get to play on is exciting, but it's more exciting just to play against the world's top.